uh, to be here to talk about something that I care about, namely uh, research and development, and in particular research and development in our uh, private companies. I have uh, been speaking to a number of companies in my riding of Kingston and the Islands, uh, small, medium, small and medium-sized enterprises um, who rely very much, and they've, they've told me that their companies have benefited enormously uh, from the scientific research and experimental development tax credit. Uh, they always take the credit and plow it right back in their businesses, and they create jobs uh, in my writing, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, and they do that. Uh, there are other companies across the country uh, that, are, that are creating jobs. And I want to say that uh, the difference between a tax credit for research and development and just simply uh, an overall uh, tax cut on corporations is that you can imagine just cutting taxes on corporations and increasing the amount of cash uh, that they have in their, in their balances. But you know the company doesn't need to take any risk. They could simply take that extra cash and pay a dividend. Whereas <coughs> a tax uh, credit uh, that incentivizes the taking of risk by investing in research uh, and development um, uh, encourages companies to take risks to uh, do the research and development that can make Canadian workers uh, more productive and have a leg up on the competition uh, from other parts of the world over the coming decades. And I think, first of all, I want to start out with that, with that uh, overall idea for why it's important to have uh, these tax cuts. <clears throat> um, the two amendments, uh, first of all, I want to say that uh, we, we, we certainly agree with the NDP amendments. They're, they're very similar to the, uh, to the amendments that, uh, that we have proposed. Uh, one of the concerns that I have about uh, the uh, um, decrease uh, of the uh, credit for third-party expenditures from 100% of the expenditure to 80% of the expenditure is that, now the reason for this is, is that uh, uh, we don't want to give a tax credit for the, the profit margin of, of the, of the third-party, but some of the third-parties could be, for example, um, some of the third parties could be universities or other not-for-profit uh, organizations uh, where it would be inappropriate to, um, to, uh, to make that change. And I, be I believe that, that uh, we're going to be discussing that a little bit more later in the evening. The uh, exclusion of capital expenditures uh, penalizes certain sectors. Uh, in particular, for example, in my writing, there's a company that works in factory automation. Uh, and that's... Uh, you can just imagine that there's a lot of capital expenditure uh, involved in that. It's not the same as, for example, there's another company in my writing that takes advantage of the uh, shred tax credit. Uh, it's a software company. They they do they do uh, uh, they do software for uh, customers around the world. They may not care so much about capital expenditures, but uh, my local company that works in factory automation uh, may care a lot. The other sector, which uh, really cares a lot about um, capital expenditures and would be hurt by the exclusions of capital expenditures uh, from the eligibility for the scientific research and experimental development tax credit is the oil and gas technology companies. And, you know, the interesting thing about oil and gas technology companies is and we, 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 we extract a lot of oil from, from, the, um, from, say, the oil sands in Alberta, and we have this problem that we don't have enough pipeline capacity to get the oil uh, to market. However, uh, we are also world leaders not only in the amount of oil and gas we have in, in the ground, but but oil and gas technology. A minute. I can, yeah, and I can see that on my timer. Oh, okay. Um, and you, to export that technology, you don't need pipelines, in fact. So we don't want to hurt this particular part uh, this particular part of the oil and gas sector, which exports around the world, which has a world-class reputation, uh, where Canadians are developing world-leading technology to make oil and gas extraction more efficient, more safe, more healthy, more environmentally um, sensitive. And I think it would be a real shame, Mr. Chair, if here in Canada we excluded capital expenditures and hurt this very important uh, sector of the economy, which, uh, as everybody in this committee knows, is creating jobs um, all across the country. Those big tires uh, that, that, that are on the, the trucks that carry um, uh, bitumen with sand, you know, they're made in Nova Scotia. So, you know, we know that the jobs come from all over the place. 
And I think it's very important uh, that we do not exclude capital okay. uh, expenditures from eligibility for the shred tax credit. Okay, Thanks. thank you very much for your intervention. We'll go to Mr.